Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Abdullah Subhan. Today I'm going to be talking about a few common topics that beginners are often confused about at the gym. Using both my medical knowledge and my personal experience, I'll be guiding you on a few simple things you need to do to increase your gains at the gym, and I'll be answering a few common questions that are asked by beginners. Let's get started. How long should you spend at the gym? The ideal time spent at the gym is 40 minutes to 1 hour. The reason for this is hormonal. As most of us know, the main anabolic hormone in your body is testosterone. During your workout, there is a surge of testosterone and growth hormone release, which are maximal at about 15 minutes into your workout and stay high up to 1 hour into your workout. After that, however, they may actually decrease below normal. Moreover, there is a second hormone, the stress hormone, called cortisol. During prolonged workouts, your body is in a state of stress and your blood sugar dips. When this happens, your body releases cortisol and epinephrine to maintain your blood sugar up. However, these hormones also slow down your muscle growth and actually may cause some muscle loss. So ideally, your workout shouldn't exceed one hour and you can reduce your workout times by reducing the, the rest time between sets. Your sets themselves, however, should last as long as possible. How many reps per set? Most beginners start with a three sets of 12 reps rule. While there is nothing fundamentally wrong with that, it is not a strict requirement. What's more important is the duration that your set lasts. Studies have shown that the ideal duration of each set should be 45 seconds to 60 seconds, which is roughly 12 reps for most of us. But this means that if you're doing 12 reps but you're doing them too quickly so that you, the whole set itself lasts around 25 seconds, then you're wasting your time. You should prolong this, the, the reps, even if you're doing 6 reps but you're doing them in 45 seconds, then that's better than doing 12 reps quickly. How heavy should you lift? Ideally, you should pick a weight that you can do 8 to 12 reps in proper, slow, good form. The weight shouldn't be so light that you can easily rep out 15 reps, nor should it be so heavy that you're struggling with 6 reps. Again, I'm talking about proper, slow, controlled reps. You should do each set till failure. What do I mean by failure? I mean you should keep doing reps as long as you can do it in a proper slow and good form. The moment you start struggling maintaining your proper form, you should put the weights down. That's the ideal way for maximum hypertrophy while avoiding injuries. How many muscle groups per day? Should you be doing one body part per day, such as chest day, biceps day and so on, or should you be combining them? such as the push-pull split. Once again, there is no hard and fast rule. It depends on your personal preference and your personal experience. Generally, however, beginners tend to lift lighter weights and thus they are able to do more muscle groups per day. So for beginners, I tend to recommend the push-pull leg split. This split involves a push day consisting of chest, shoulders and triceps workouts, followed by a pull day involving your back and your biceps workouts, and lastly, a legs day. This, this split has the advantage of targeting each muscle group twice a week. It is also good for people who, who tend to go to the gym uh, two or three days a week. More advanced gym goers tend to follow the five day split. This has the advantage of you being able to do more exercises per muscle group. However, you can only do each muscle group once a week. If you follow this split, the order that you schedule your gym days is important. For example, it is unwise to do chest day after your shoulders day because your chest exercises utilize your shoulders as well. So if your shoulders are already fatigued, that is not ideal. My, my personal routine is to start the week with chest on Monday, followed by back, followed by shoulders, then legs and finally arms before the weekend. That's it for today's video. In the coming weeks, I'm going to be making more videos about weight loss and diet. So don't forget to subscribe. And please tell me in the comments what exercises you want me to demonstrate or what videos you want me to make next. Thank you so much for watching.